Hi everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal at EdTech.tv. Um, today we're going to take a look at transferring files between two accounts on one Mac. So, uh, if you ever find yourself using two accounts on your one Macintosh, I am sorry PC users, this is not for you today. Um, but if you have two accounts on one Mac, so for example, you might have one personal account and one for work, right? If you're using your computer in the classroom, you want to kind of keep it simple and clean for your students to see everything. But on your uh, home account, you might have a lot more and or, and or if you're like me, a lot messier of an account. Um, so if you have those two accounts, you uh, sometimes find yourself using them both. Um, but you want to transfer something from your personal account that you use at home to your work account, right? A lot of the times I might be surfing the internet or, you know, working on a lesson plan and then I find myself in the wrong account and uh, I want to transfer it over. The problem is that a lot of times I don't want to deal with loading it up to the internet through Dropbox um, or and then switch accounts and then drop it right back down and download it again. It's a lot of mess. Um, and so today we're going to take a look at an easier way to do it. Um, so we're going to take a few simple steps to share files between your two accounts without any third party services. So let's get to it. Okay, you may notice that this desktop is different than the normal background that I show you. This is because this is my personal account and this is not my uh, EdTech TV account. And we're gonna take a look at that. Um, so let's say I found this picture on my personal account that I wanna move over to my work account. And it's the EdTech logo, that's fine. Um, I really wanna have it for use obviously with my work account because that's where it's more important to me, but right now it's only on my desktop my desktop of my regular personal account. As you can see, my name is up here in the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a simple way to transfer it over. Now the easiest way to do it is when you're in your finder, so you're just gonna click on your finder and it'll bring up you know, your finder menu here. And you're gonna click on the home icon. In this case, mine is you know my name, Brent G. Warner. Uh, Sometimes people don't have it in their favorites, in which case go to the go button at the top and then find the one that says home and that will also bring you to the same place. Now I'm gonna click on public and you can see Dropbox. This does not mean by the way the, uh, the web service Dropbox. It's a little confusing, but this is, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so now I've got this file here on my desktop and I'm here in my public folder. All I have to do is drag it right into there and then I'm going to go to my quick switcher and I'm going to click on edtech.tv and here I am on my work account. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back to the finder and for me it's easiest just to go back to the go menu and home and you'll see that here my home is considered edtech.tv but as you know before I was using the account Brent G. Warner so I'll click on that one and then I'm gonna go back to the same page or sorry same folder that we were in before public and there is the document, EdTech TV logo, and I can just drag it right onto my desktop to use as I like. So there I go. That's all I have to do to transfer the same file directly between the two. Okay, now let's say I wanted to send a document back. Um, you do have to be careful because it doesn't just let you drop files right into one way and the other. So let's say, for example, um, I'm going to create a new one and I want to go into um, text edit. So let's say I wanted to say uh, a ways to follow me online. And I said uh, Twitter at tech principal uh, Facebook. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got ways to follow me online. I'll just save this. Uh, right to desktop. Okay, so I've got the text file here. Um, if I wanted to do this, I can't just drop it right back into the same folder, you see, because it's going to say, um, you know, it requires an administrator name or password. Now, obviously, this is pretty easy for me to do. I can authenticate it. This is actually looking a little weird, but um, I can authenticate it, and it'll let, ask me for my password, um, which I can do. I know my password for both sides of the computer and there it's in there um, but if you happen to be sharing with someone who you don't know you can also always drop it directly into the one that's called a drop box and it means that um, I can send the file over there but I won't be able to look in there it's just like a real drop box um, but not the web service. I know it's a little confusing. So if I were to drop a folder into a Dropbox for someone, that person could see it, but um, I cannot see it anymore because I've already dropped it off. So that's okay for me as well. So either way that you want to send them back, no problem. If you want to use the password, you can log in and just send it right over, or you can drop it in the Dropbox without using the password. So let's go back one more time to the original account. And as we come back, you can see that I've got either the folder, or sorry, the file right here. Um, this is the one that I use the password to get into, or I can access, of course, my own Dropbox, and uh, the same folder is in there because I, I dropped it right in. So I hope that's a useful way for you guys to uh, transfer files between your two different accounts. Like I said, you know, really useful for you if you're finding something that you weren't expecting, but of course as teachers, we're always kind of scouring for some new information, something that we can bring into the classroom. And, uh, you know, you might want to transfer it right over. And this is probably the quickest and easiest way to do it. And as a super bonus, uh, I know that remembering which files and which folders you're going to every time can be a little confusing. So once you're actually there, here's a little trick. Take your public folder and drag it directly into your favorites bar on the left hand side. And that way you don't have to go searching every time. All you have to do is click on public. And there you've got everything right there. Do the same thing on both sides of the computer and you'll easily be able to transfer whenever you want. And uh, it'll save you <laughs> hopefully quite a bit of time. Thanks a lot. So as always, we're going to wrap up today's session with a little bit of homework. It is, first, of course, find your public folder, and it's under your home folder. Uh, go ahead and scroll back if you need to, find it, um, or go to the Go menu at the top. Then try transferring files between your two user accounts. You know, jump back and forth, make sure you're in the right places. Finally, if you want a little extra credit, create a shortcut by adding the folder to your sidebar. Now, as always, you can drop me a message, ask me if you're not sure exactly on how to do something. I will respond if you're here on edtech.tv. Go ahead and leave a message in the uh, comments, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Of course, uh, if you're not on edtech.tv, you can also find me on Twitter at edtechprincipal. Love it if you follow me there. Um, YouTube.com slash user slash edtechprincipal. And, of course, on Facebook at facebook.com slash edtechtv. Thanks, you guys, so much. Um, I find this really, really useful. If you can do it, um, if you can make a habit of it, you will find yourself saving a lot of time instead of researching again and again, trying to find the same files and the same websites and all that stuff. So take a look at it, and I will see you soon.